Hi guys, in today's video, we are going to discuss about cohort exploration report in GA4. So let's go to explore tab. And cohort exploration. Cohort exploration means a group of people with similar characteristics. And the cohort and the cohort exploration report helps us to understand how the people are returning to our website week by week. And here we are on demo account of GA4. So it's an inbuilt report. So let's see how to understand the cohort report. First, we have variables and settings. And in variables, we have exploration name, custom, segments, dimensions, and metrics. And next, we have technique. Like first, we have segment comparison, cohort inclusion. Based upon selection, the inclusion, the report will be shown. Like first, if you select the first touch, like when the user comes the first, uh, it shows based upon that report or else you can select any event, any transaction or any conver conversation or even if you want to view it for particular events, so you can select those particular events as well. And next we have written criteria like how you want to view their written criteria for suppose you want to view for any events or particular events uh, or like any transaction or particular transaction, something like that. You can add that as well. And next we have cohort granularity, which means you want to view report this for daily, weekly or monthly. So we are in viewing this report in weekly. And next we have breakdown where we can use dimensions to break down this report. And next we have rows per dimension. So you can increase rows up to 15. And next we have values like how many were the active users and you can even share this with the metrics. And next we have metrics, metric type that means you want to view this for some or per cohort user means it shows the percentage how many users were viewing and next we have all users week 0 1 2 3 4 so let's understand this report first here are the active users those who have visited for first time and from here for the returning week from week 0 to week 1 there were 850 users and from week 0 to week 2 there were 750 users and from week 0 to week 3 there were 340 users so the report it shows all the users are from week 0 to week 1 week 0 to week 2 the users are not from week 1 to week 2 week 2 to week 3 something like that okay and the users come here uh, sometimes the users in week 1 may be less and in week 2 there may be more so the users all the returning users are coming from week 0 and this is same for all the weeks and it helps us to understand like what are the specific events or something you they trigger to come to their uh, our returning website like they came by clicking on our ad or something like from organic post or something all this you can track this uh, in further report so this report helps us to understand how the views how the users are returning to our website that is the main purpose of this cohort exploration and even you can change like if you change this uh, like any event it shows any events the report has been changed now and you can see it here each each cell of the some active users of users who had any event in the week for any event and if you change it for particular event then it shows based upon the particular event and we have no contact us so it shows only in so in cohort inclusion, if I select view item here, it shows it shows the report how many were viewed our item in week zero and how many were returning users week after week. So this is the way how, how you can understand this cohort exploration. And this is brief about the cohort exploration. Thank you guys.